Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Gibson's 92, giving you guys the latest and exclusive content on the music, entertainment, news, and inspiration posts by me. The Queen's back. Alright guys, I'm going to crank up the volume. Alright, I want to talk about us respecting our legends in music. And I want to do this video. And when I do my videos, I take my time. I try to think of ways how to create different topics um, when it comes to music. Um, and I'm telling y'all this. We have to appreciate our legends. Because I've been really sparked and inspired by other people talking about the legends that they admire and they grew up with. Same with me. Because at this point, um, honestly, music right now can be a lot better uh if there's just too much division there's too much of this political you know just it's, it's like it has gotten to the point where some people when it comes to certain artists especially the artists that came from like the early 2000s and the 90s and 80s era of music in 70s and 60s I noticed that this generation, some of them, not all of them, because some of them do appreciate the music, but the rest of them, their thing is, if you ain't making the kind of music that they like, or if an artist who has really put in the work, and all these years later, you know, their music speaks for itself, even though they broke barriers, even though they have a lot of number one hit records, even though they can sing, write, produce their songs, even though there was no gimmick, even though they came from an era of talented artists which this generation they are talented artists but I noticed that people don't have an open mind they don't have an open heart to listen to different genres of music that's why music has gotten within the past I would say 20 years has gotten worse especially on mainstream radio because mainstream radio was a lot better when I was coming up um, and a lot of the legends that I grew up with they brought out amazing classics. They had music that they brought with a heart and soul. Um, and then they also they didn't sell their soul to, you know, had it longevity. They made music, and music was more like a lot of people during my generation. As long as you had the talent, as long as you had the creativity, you can make any kind of music any kind of sound you had the free will to make a sound that people can know you for they can recognize you for they can know like oh this is that artist but today's music is like everyone sounds the same and it's pretty much irritating to me because i'm like okay i see people's perspective of how well some of the music legends even though some of them they still continue to play out albums um they still connect with this generation of music lovers the ones that do appreciate their art and sound I love y'all so much, you know, because y'all really get it, but it's like, this is why, you know, we gotta, you know, put in, you know, and give them their flowers, because man, you never know, um, and what's so amazing, too, is like, I can look at someone else's opinion on music, and especially when they have grown with the music, and especially like, they know all the songs, you know, they remember a song that, they were at such and such place and they know a song from their favorite artist that do you realize the impact of the music legends that actually were able to really catapult into superstardom we have superstars in this new generation that's why I want this new generation to see their own superstars and change the game too for the next generation do the same thing like the people that came before them and you know there are some really dope talented artists that are superstars but we have a couple of issues where I want to talk about where it's like social media is the issue um, the blogging is the issue in some ways people are just so into like a lot of that drama drama gossip gossip so much I think that it is over shattering the music you know, and I know and understand that artists are human beings, you know, and like I said, we have found that some artists are really, you know, some are messed up. In terms of messed up, I'm talking about 
they don't have no soul they're cruel to other people behind the scenes you guys know what I'm talking about you know you know you've heard the stories uh, some people that really didn't really really fathom thinking of doing the things that they've done even though they're highly respected in music even though they have you know put in the work but that side of that Mr. Jekyll or Dr. Hyde that they had for all these years harboring in their soul yeah that stuff came out and it when I swear to goodness I swear to God I was like you know what I'll say this you know people can support who they want but I feel like you should have standards too um, it depends on the situation cause some people's faves have done a lot of fucked up stuff but I ain't gonna mention no names I ain't gonna do it I mean you know and I feel like it's too much of that it's just so much but a lot of the talented artists that I have really seen you know come out their shell have so much confidence so much different layers of talent that they have you know they can sing they can write they can play instruments that's a gift that's a skill to be able to do everything and I will mention but I will mention names but like good people that I feel like people still just say try to throw jabs they try so hard to erase what they had them built it's not just about popularity it's about connecting with your music it's about leaving a legacy behind years down the road people will still feel connected with your music people will still feel like wow this person saved my life you know their music let me mention artists that really 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 pretty much are considered legends and will forever be Mary J. Blige, Mariah Carey, Michael Jackson, Jan Jackson, Prince, Aretha Franklin, Aaliyah, Brandy, Whitney Houston, Shaka Khan, um, Stevie Wonder, Marvin Gaye, Teddy Pendergrass, um, man, it's a whole bunch. It's, it's pretty much, you know, David Bowie, um, Oh gosh, the Beatles, um, it's a whole bunch of them. Because those people, they come to mind at the top of my mind, at the top of my head, because I feel like those are the ones that really put in the work. Um, and it's really crazy because even nowadays, I, I really, like I said, I try not to get into like all the, you know, slander and all that, but see, really the thing is, these people really made great music of their generation and I will keep promoting good music I will keep promoting good artists there are up and coming talented artists who are very talented that really caught my attention for this new generation um, and I really think that the ones that have it is like some of them are in groups duo groups uh, girl groups boy groups um, there are pretty much some solo artists, female artists, and the male artists. And the thing is, what needs to happen, because it has to happen, is up to the power of the fans. And I say this because, perfect example, I talk about Ali a lot, right? Within last, I would say, how many years of her career, her legacy, and even how she passed on. Oh, I need to mention Selena Quintanilla too. Um, okay, then we'll get back to Ali. But Ali pretty much has fans like myself and the rest of Team Ali that we're a ride or die fans to the day, till for every eternity. You know why? Because despite how her legacy throughout the years was a little bit, it had its ups and downs, and then it was so frustrating that. Her family has endured so much too. So I respect of the Halton family. I understand because they have seen it all. Ali has went through things that we may not have known about and we don't know. That's why I need a biopic to be done correctly because I feel like she definitely is one of the reason why the main reason how you see a lot of these artists, female and male artists with the sound of music she's the blueprint especially with these female artists their sound their style they look not to put them down because they are they are original too but I can see how their inspiration to baby girls impact in her music and her style 
in the swag that she possessed it's like she is pretty much the original enigma she's the original OG of like the mysterious you know she had the talent the vocals you know dancing um, the producers that she worked with she was able to really you know have her lane and stand out and be unique and be original and it was okay to do that because back in the day the thing is you just had to be yourself you didn't have to be like someone else there was no need for you to be some other artist you just had to be you you had to find yourself and you had to put in the work and the talent but also stay true to yourself and the thing is with Aaliyah it's like all the stuff the fans have done throughout the years we have gotten the Mac collection we've gotten the wax figure we have pretty much did the groundwork and I feel like people need to respect the fact that she literally wasn't some gimmick or you know wasn't some like mediocre artist or just like a cookie cutter no and she was no machine you know what I'm saying but I think that is a blessing that all team I live we pushed through we really made sure to carry out her legacy we made sure that we put in the work and we reap the benefits of you know that respect for her because she would be very very proud um and like I said we definitely when it comes to her we don't take no prisoners um and we don't take things slightly because with her I look back at how she really 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 worked her behind off she really was doing th her thing in music and I think that you know despite the naysayers that's why we go hard for her because really Aaliyah pretty much almost and this is my honest opinion I almost believe that if it hadn't been how the power of the fans you know promoting her music still getting on like her legacy you know demanding that she her and her estate make sure that she gets everything put together she pretty much would have been a myth a so-called myth or frozen in time she probably would have been like some like you know like it, it really wouldn't have been like she wouldn't be more recognized she would even wouldn't be acknowledged then when some of these hating people her trolls and haters talk all this smack we always go off but I'm at a point now it's like hey I really don't care um, I'm not wasting my time arguing with people I don't want to do that I don't have time to be arguing with people over small things it's pretty much like I said I have this platform this is what I do this is what I always want to do and I love to do this because I want to and I feel like there should be more music channels to do the same thing promoting their favorite artists and also other artists and I feel like that will keep things of a balance because what was really to me was really just irritating is that I feel like even in this day in this current this current age of music and you know entertainment arts I don't really think people are really serious about promoting and preserving especially culture when it comes to music um, and I think that people they'll try to find a way to nitpick on every little thing um, and we got to be careful on that because my thing is just focus on the music you know and I think when you focus on the music you're gonna give these artists a chance and give them opportunities to really showcase what they got build confidence have that you know ability to really you know do what they do and it's okay for artists to take their time you know and be patient and you know really make music that they want to make and connect with you know their fans and don't rush the music because my thing is when fans always demand music music is not music is supposed to be right you don't know how it is especially the artist process because I'm an artist myself it takes time to create something that from scratch from the ground up but I know that I noticed that some of these toxic fans they will say they want to support their favorite artists but they're too busy dragging the other artists they're too busy and then I'm gonna tell you something 
I'm tired, especially with black artists, especially with like towns black artists. I'm tired of this whole people just want to put them against each other. But this is the freaking problem. The freaking issue is, I don't really think people don't want to see any change from from what I've seen. I'm not saying that they they don't they're not serious, but I'm not saying they're not real fans. Because I have to be careful because I don't want to be like you're not a real fan and dictate how to be a fan. No. Um, my thing is, you should wait because these people are human beings. There are so many artists that I'm waiting for them to pop off. There are some artists that I've been supporting them since day one, since the underground. And then I get so excited when they put out new music. I'm like, wow, okay, cool. This is the reason why it's important that we have room and have a balance to really navigate and really, you know, take control of our media, social media profiles too because that's why I said these fan forums need to come back and I think the fan forums should come back because those are pretty much the days where I used to always be on a fan forum connect with other artists um, other fans we had to connect with artists too and connect with the fans but mostly with the fans too because we have the power to make a difference support our favorite artists um, and I think that the fan forums they're safe you know, um, like I said, if the fan, if a fan forum is welcoming, and you know, you got people different walks of life that like music, they build from the ground up slowly, 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 and then it's like a tribe in a good way. Different walks of life, cool, kiki, have fun, creative artists outlets. You know, where there's like even there are talented fans too, even with the art world do graphic designs, um, promotions for their favorite artists. This is why I said, and I say this all the time, you can't always have this, you know, you know, you know what you want in life, but you have to be humble. But like I said, you have a goal, stick to it. Don't let nobody keep you off your goals. But I feel like these fans of today's generation, some of them, not all of them, they need to sit their arses down they need to sit the hell down because it's going to get worse I don't think that they understand the fact that you have an artist that you support and you already know what they've been through and you know the obstacles that they have they have faced and pushed through you gotta work with people it's a two way street communication is the key and I have to remind myself that too I'm pretty good with communicating with people but that's why I always have said, you know, I am mindful of what I do. I'm mindful of what I say. And I think that nowadays some people aren't mindful of what they say. Um, and I think that not necessarily it's kind of like they don't care. It depends on it depends on people. So I'm going to have to break it down. I feel like, you know, we have our opinions. We have our voices. But I just do not care for this always tearing people down toxic this key key and there's a time and place for that you know these people are human beings we don't know them um, we only know what they do in their music um, and I also think that we're gonna have to start turning things up we're gonna have to figure out ways how to cope with even the online haters I really at this point I just ignore trolls I see negative comments but if I talk about like a situation that has happened to any of my favorite artists or other artists I will talk about it and I have done before. Um, I have did coverage on things that I didn't freaking like, like at all and I don't tolerate and I will stand by that period. So like I said but when it comes to the music, me doing music reviews, stuff like that, oh yeah I'm on it because this platform is the perfect place for me to do that and connect with you know these artists and connect with the fans. So like I said we gotta really 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 do better because our legends that really put in that work there will never be another one there will never be every last one of them oh I cannot forget to mention Tony Braxton so some people that come across my head I'm like yeah you know what those are the people that actually you know especially in the 90's of music um, Beyonce um, Alicia Keys um, Destiny's Child TLC those people pretty much made a lot of noise and that's why I said 
we have to really look at the future because the next 10 years, the next 20 years of music, things are going to change. And I think that there should be more artist development um, behind the scenes too, or for underground people, independent artists, work on that artist development, do research, get ideas, be creative, don't be afraid to push the barriers for yourself, because once you get the opportunity, once you get, it's not just the opportunity, but you get opportunities to really showcase your talent, it will take off, but also make sure you have integrity. And here's the thing, that's why people should have integrity, because I'm going to say this, a lot of stuff that be going on behind the scenes in the music industry, you never know. So I'm be very careful on this platform because like I said, I've heard stories and you don't put it past nobody. And unfortunately, like I said, I hate how people, you know, they have shared their stories about being taken advantage of and saying some really messed up things. But like I said, just make sure that you know your worth, stay on the grind, never give up. Make sure that you take control of your destiny as being a music artist because like I said, you will come through. Um, so like I said, we just gotta, you know, stay up to date with things. Um, and also I notice even when people be like, well, these legends are has-beens and all that. I'm like, well, no, they're not has been Get out of that. You know, has is no. You know why? Just because they don't, just like I go back to like how some people, they don't connect with their music, which is fine, but just because they're not making the kind of music that this generation is listening to, um, which some of this music right now, a lot of that mumble trap music, that's the issue that's been going on. It really, it ain't really, it's not really good because I do believe in the next how many years, there's going to be a new sound of music and some of these like trap mumble rappers, they're pretty much going to go into oblivion. I don't think they're going to really still exist within the next 10 years because music changes and you have some artists, you know, they don't have the ability to adapt with the times. And that's why some of the legends, they were able to do that. They are, I'm like saying were, they are able to do that because some of them have still put out good music. They still put out new albums. So I feel like with them, it's a perfect example of really redefining yourself, reinventing yourself and changing the game and music. So like I said, we got to respect our legends. I'm not here for all the crap. I'm not here for it. I'm putting my foot down. I ain't going to take no prisoners at all. So I want you guys, like I said, we got to respect, you know, the music that we grew up with, like us millennials. You know, I was born in 1992, so I know and all of that great stuff because I lived through it. I've seen it all, you know. So with that being said, guys, we got to respect our legends. Respect them while they're still here, while they're still doing their thing in music. So with that being said, guys, please, 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 let's have a conversation. Let's have a discussion. How do you guys feel about respecting the legends in music? Who are y'all favorite uh, artists that are musical legends? And share your thoughts and your opinions. And tell me how do you guys feel about when people come to your favorite musical legend. And as a fan, how do you deal with that? Um, Share your thoughts and your opinions. Stay tuned for the next episode. Give since night two. Like, share, comment, subscribe down below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button. As always, stay tuned on the next episode. Give since night two. Dragon Ball Z, Nanny reference. Peace. Bye, guys. As in out. This Super Saiyan is out.